good morning and in this video i'm gonna show you a very simple makeup with um this orange color eyeliner today i'm gonna use just one foundation and that is a zelens use glow maybe today i will try to apply it with a brush the brush that i use for foundation this is a japanese brush i seldom use it but it's not because it's a bad brush it's just I don't know, I just like to apply things with hands, all the products with hands, so... Uh, probably this is not enough, because when I apply with the brush, the product uh, get absorbed in a brush a little bit, you see how fluffy it is, and so later I may need to add a bit more product, but for now, let's just give it... Honestly, I cannot see that. I cannot say that the coverage with brush is better or worse than with hand. It's it's the same, I think. I don't see any difference when I apply the product with hands versus the brush. This is what it looks like after one one use. Like just now, it was clean, right? I washed it just a few weeks ago and I think I'm gonna add a tiny little bit more product um, because I think here it was not enough so I just do little dots all over the area where I want to apply it and then I just blow it in Awesome. and it goes in this kind of uh, little um, box so I cover it like this so awesome unfortunately this is paper so if I touch it with the dirty fingers like the, my fingers have foundation on it so you see it's not black anymore it's a rainy day today but uh, the past few days were very sunny and I think I got a tiny bit of suntan so um, usually when it's sunny I like to apply the blush this way like here and I also apply the um, uh, gosh, <laughs> blush uh, closer to my nose because usually I apply it here but in summertime I try to apply it like this because this is usually the place that is affected by the sun right so I'm just trying to make it um, natural like a natural summer glow here here can also apply a tiny little bit here. All right, perfect. You see now, as if I was touched by the sun here. Awesome, I love it. Now powder. I think it's time for me to start looking for a new powder. Mine is almost gone and I'm not sure which powder to try. I want it to be compact. I don't really like the loose powder, um, but I don't want, I want it to be mattifying, but not too dry. And last time I used Hourglass, uh, they, are, they have one powder that has this soft glow, like it creates this diffused look and it uh, kind of erase all the small wrinkles or imperfections. And I really loved that powder. It was also in a compact. I cannot remember the color right now. But the thing is, it might be a bit too shiny, I think. Especially if I layer it up on top of the uh, shiny foundation. So I think it's going to be too much glue. So I really enjoy this one. Maybe I'm even going to buy this one again. Lise Vatier. Yeah, it's simple and it does the it does the job. It, yeah, I cannot see it on my face. Yeah, I think it's pretty perfect. I have a hair here. So sometimes these brushes they they lose they shed hairs. <laughs> All right, let's continue with the eyeshadow all over my eyelid. Uh, so I'm gonna use the bigger brush. Like usually I use a brush twice smaller than this, but. Be that's because usually I only apply it in a crease, but today I want to apply it like this. So you see, I stretch my um, eyelid tiny little bit and then basically I apply it like this. 
this brush shape is very unique and actually <laughs> in a, it's a Japanese brush by Chico uh, this company doesn't exist anymore they closed down I think a year or two years ago and in their instruction for this brush that's how they uh, recommend to use it basically you just swirl the eyeshadow and then you just press it here and then just start, uh, swing left and right where you want to blend the um, eyeshadow and you see it has cre it creates this perfectly um, natural very diffused look you cannot see any edges there that's because the bristles are from short the here's a, this is the shortest see and here is the longest so I really love this brush and I want to find another one for standby in case something happened to this one so let me know if you know any brand that produced this kind of brush so I do the same with the other eye Uh, the brand is Chico, in case you're wondering, but the thing is, we are not going to find it unless you um, go to Rakuten, this is like a Japanese eBay or Amazon. There may be somebody still selling the leftover, but most of the time they are not out of stock already and discontinued. And if you look for it anywhere on the Western website, you cannot find this web on this brand. So today I'm gonna do something quite different. I'm gonna use this uh, Makeup Forever uh, single eyeshadow as an eyeliner. I love this color. <laughs> this one, yeah, see? So how I do it is I use this tiny little brush and I make it wet. like this and then and then I just apply some take some product so you see when it's wet it the color is more intense if it's just dry the color is going to be pretty weak but for eyeliner I need it to be intense and then I just draw one line along the eyelid along the eyelash so I start all the way here and draw it all the way to the end. So now I'm going to use the black eyeliner to draw another line along the eyelash. This one is going to be even closer to the uh, line line, lash line. <laughs> and basically I'm going to try to make it almost invisible and just um, extend the wink a little bit. As you can see, the end is a bit thicker than the beginning. The beginning is super thin, basically. I just follow the lash line and the end is a bit thicker. And the same on the other side. Okay, so here are both of my Islands. As you can see, I give the direction to the eye uh, lashes, and then today I'm also gonna touch up the bottom a little bit. Usually I don't do it, but today I will.
and now it's just the eyebrows and the lips so um i actually uh plucked my eyebrows a bit and made them even more straight so i removed all those eyebrows that were here at the bottom that are going down because actually my uh, outer um, my tail of the eyebrow is quite low so sometimes it's even lower than the, the beginning and that's why sometimes i just pluck it so this is what i do i just uh, fill in here a little bit mm. And then when I come here, I use the side of the pencil to draw one thick line. I do not use any uh, gel for my eyebrows because honestly, my eyebrows are very stubborn and they always go back to whatever position. Um, they want and also i don't like this feeling of stiff and sticky eyebrows when they stick to the skin i don't know i just don't like it so i tried a few gels and um, nope not my thing okay i think so far so good it's almost impossible to make them symmetrical. Well, I think nothing in our face is symmetrical if you think about it, so no point trying. <laughs> okay, and then the um, lips. Actually, I always use the lip balm, but today I will try to use this uh, lip pencil. This is, what is actually, it's, it's a Nick Nux uh, professional makeup. It's um, lip pencil that also have this brush on the other side so what i do is i just uh, line them and adjust the contour the way i like them okay i will have to keep quiet here <laughs> So as you can see, I apply the contour and then I apply a little bit like to soften the contour, but I didn't fill it in completely. So the next thing that I do is I actually use my finger. You can use uh, blood, uh, the brush maybe here, but honestly, I just prefer to use my fingers to soften the line because I don't want this line to be very uh, obvious. Uh. And I think the finger looks be works better than the brush. I also soften a little bit the line that, uh, like the actual line between the lip and the foundation, because I don't want it to be super hard. And just like a tiny little bit like this, okay? And then the thing here, inside first. Mm -hmm. It takes some time. It looks as if it's my lips. They look matte. And you cannot see this very uh, solid uh, line that separates the lips from the skin. And that's why it looks especially natural. So that's how I like to wear the slightly darker lipsticks. I always smudge a little bit the edge. Okay, so that's my look of the day. What do you think? I love it. <laughs>